Christmas. Say good morning to the day. Good morning to the day. Good morning. Hey, how are you? How are you? Hey, I love you, baby brother. I love you, baby brother. Give me a kiss. <laughs> no, him. Slow. today I am going to just do a day in my life with the twins um, as you've seen in the intro I started vlogging around 5 a.m. and I did my feed and then went back to bed and then they woke up at 8 everyone woke up at 8 <laughs> and we kind of just lounged around a little bit and then um, I get them ready for the day change their diapers refresh their face um, put the little outfits on them and then they go back to bed so right now they are sleeping in their crib taking a little nap and I got dressed I put some product in my hair not that much I don't really don't wear my hair down but for the sake of the video I thought I'll try to look a little cute um usually when I'm in the house I like throw my hair up I look a mess but you know you gotta look a little decent so uh, yeah, so right now while they're chilling, I'm just gonna go make me some breakfast. My husband had an appointment, so he's not here right now. It's just me and the twins. Yeah, they'll be here in a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna take you along with me and see my life, what I do for my twins, and give you a little taste of what I go through. So, enjoy. Okay, so... They're sleeping. I swaddled him because he gets really cranky, that's Jediah. And then he's pretty chill, so I just laid him there until he was tired. So like the camera right there and him and monitor. Go and see one baby because he's he's fine. But he stretches out so I can still see him. Yeah. Keep an eye on him while I go downstairs. These are actually really good for your breast milk if you're breastfeeding. Um, I do these every single month. Flaxseed all help your breast milk become like thick and fatty, and that is what makes the baby fat and gain weight. So that's why I eat this power oatmeal in the morning time, and I just have a hot chocolate instead of coffee because I didn't feel like making coffee right now because I had to clean the thing and I don't want to clean it. These past three weeks have been so crazy though, it just happens so fast. Like, once you have kids, it's just time goes by so quickly i learned a lot and i realized how much i've learned since having my first baby because my first baby i had a really hard time breastfeeding but i have twins now and i'm like rocking this thing 
you know, they will have great latches. I'm not sore as much unless they're like eating all the time. And I feel great. Like I really do. I guess I can get into my mental state. Like mentally, I feel good, you know? Like there's some days where I feel frustrated because, you know, my toddler's going crazy and then there's a baby crying or there's two babies crying, my toddler's going crazy and everyone's just driving each other nuts. But you know, that felt like that's normal. And having a baby is an empowering thing, no matter if you're vaginal, C-section, whatever, having, bringing life into this world is just amazing. And we are so amazing as women. Like God outdid himself making us, it's crazy. We can handle anything. You can handle so much pain. Mm. You go from hours and hours of labor, and then you have your baby, and if you decide to breastfeed, your baby's on you for hours and hours and hours. You know, constantly, around the clock. And that is not easy. It's not easy to breastfeed at all. But I will tell you, with experience, it gets easier. But as a first time mom, breastfeeding is hard. It's a lot of learning that you're doing. It's a lot of adjusting that you're doing. And you're doing something that your body is never done before and it's not used to doing. So you're stimulating an area, you know, and you're producing this milk in your body that your body never had before. So as a first time mom, it was definitely harder for me but now that my body already did it and i'm doing it for twin babies now i feel like my body already is in the flow you know even like three weeks in compared to my first like three weeks in it was like every feeding was a, a crying session it hurt i was crying all the time but three weeks in now with two babies i'm comfortable like i'm confident in what i do like i'm not i know what i'm doing you know i know how to correct their latch and all that stuff so with experience it really does like get easier like with more kids you have and whatever you know <laughs> the knowledge that you have but you know, not everybody is cut out for it some people decide not to and that's fine <music> from cleaning changed my shirt and then babies woke up so I started feeding them and yeah I got the kitchen done I think today I'm just gonna focus on cleaning as much as I can because my house been a big mess um for the past week or so I haven't really been organized and I just it's driving me crazy already so I'm just gonna focus on that but right now we're on our third feeding of the day and yeah, feed them, burp them, change them, and then most likely they'll go back down um, for another couple hours. Keeping them on the same schedule for me is important, especially while I'm in the house. Um, while I'm outside, I, I feed them one by one so if one wakes up like five or ten minutes before his brother then I'll go ahead and feed him and then I'll feed other twin right after um, just to make it easier on me because I can't obviously bring my big old pillow out in public and just prop up somewhere <laughs> I mean I can but I mean I'm not doing all that so I'll feed them one by one in public and then in the house. It's together all the time unless um, my smaller twin wants more. So my smaller twin um, is gaining weight a little bit slower than his brother. So the doctor advised me to feed him a little bit more. So he gets about 
one or two extra feedings than his brother does. So right now we feed them together, but if he wakes up in an hour and wants more milk, I will feed him more milk. So that's that. Or I'll try to pump, like, since he's finished, he didn't empty me all out. I'll go ahead and pump and save it, and then my husband can bottle feed him later. Just to get that extra little milk in there, or a little fatty milk in there um, that he needs. But, yeah. I gotta go ahead and burp these babies, so. I would just put one twin down here and he can chill and look at his toys and I'll change the other twin. So this is where I do some tummy time with them and try to exercise that neck muscle before we go downstairs. So now we're gonna head downstairs so I can finish cleaning the house. And I'm gonna put them in their swings. So let's go do that. Oh yeah, so I had to step out really quick because they were both crying at the same time. And my husband called me at the same time. So I just, I need a break right now. I finally got them to go down and take the pacifier. Um, sometimes I rock them or, you know, but I like to just put them down wide awake and let them fall asleep by themselves. I don't want them to de depend on me to rock them to go to bed. So um, I usually just, if they're tired, I lay them down either in the swing or on the bed or whatever and just get them to try to take the pacifier and kind of just stay there and soothe them a little and then they'll knock out like they just did just getting some air in my porch real quick before i clean up the house and put some jams on because them crying at the same time was like oh god but yeah daddy's home home for me now you've been waiting for your loving all day you are mm -hmm. and this is the day you're crying of course okay baby and this is harry oh no no. Oh, no, look, there you go. Look, 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 look. You see that big pile of clothes? That's all downstairs. Yeah. It doesn't belong there.
anything yet? Yes. Barely. Barely. What you eating? Um, um, this one. Javi is getting his extra feeding right now. And Daddy has Daya. And Daya is getting snuggled because he's very cranky for no reason. So, that's what we're doing. What are you doing, dude? I'm singing. And when you sit, he cries? Yeah. He's so tired. <laughs> And this one's wide awake. They're switching. Hey guys, good morning. So today is the next morning. And yesterday I wasn't able to vlog as much than like after what I did because the babies just started crying a lot. And you know, me and my husband took turns holding them and snuggling them and trying to still eat dinner and <laughs> do a bunch of stuff. Um, they are three weeks old, so they're going through a growth spurt right now. So they are crying more often and eating more often. And it was just kind of messy. So and I wasn't able to film like our night routine um, or my outro. But I hope you guys like this video. Just having a taste of what it's like with newborn twins, at least throughout the day. Let me know if you want, if you have any video requests. I'm uh, still thinking about maybe doing my birth story with the twins but thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you in my next video